Coming up on Press This, we look at the NSA's booking plugin. <laughs> it's called Bookings. It comes from Zingiri. Find out all about it. Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Press This. I'm your host, Matt. And I'm Dan. Oh, we're on the track of looking at booking plugins yes. for WordPress. This we, is not an easy journey, yes, let me a, tell you. It's a fun one, though, because we actually really get to sort of flex that WordPress brain and really explore the plugins. And the plugins aren't so basic that you know you can just solve it within five minutes, mm. you know? Yeah. Um, last week, we looked at uh, booking calendar. Yeah. First, what is yeah. the show all yeah, about? Yeah, of course. Yeah. What Sorry. is the show all about? The show is all about getting plugins, themes, and other cool WordPress stuff. Mm -hmm taking a look at them and giving our honest opinion, unbiased, non-paid, right? no one's paying us off, opinions uh, of WordPress uh, stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, YouTube.com slash Locum Studio. We want to hit 10,000 fans. We're at about 1,200 right now. Yeah. It's going to be another uphill yeah. battle, but uh, we hope that you enjoy it. Go ahead and hit subscribe. Let us know what you want to see on the show. Absolutely. Now let's jump into what we're, uh, we're going to see today. Where, where our hero left off. Yeah. Uh, so last week we talked about booking calendar. Uh, this week we're talking about bookings, which is another booking calendar plugin on WordPress. Mm -hmm. um, it's another freemium plugin. We're going to get into that a little bit, and I'm going to get into it a bit. Oh, he is. Uh, he is, ladies and gentlemen. But uh, this comes from Zingiri. I hope I pronounced that correctly. Z i n g r i g i r i. Uh, it was last updated July 3rd, so a couple days ago. Great. It's got about 52,000 downloads. It gets a three and a half out of five star rating in the WordPress repository. Uh, and that's pretty even. So there's like set about, I think when we checked, there's 17 five star ratings, but kind of countered by 12 one star ratings. I think we're going to discuss why that is. And I think I have a pretty good idea of why mm. that is. And we'll, we'll, we'll discuss it. I, I tend at this point to be more in the five star section. And I don't know where you stand on it. Yeah. So um, I, I think that if you go back to our other episode, mm -hmm. and, and we talked about this a lot, that yes. booking plugins, calendar plugins, they're not easy. Yes. I jumped into my circle of WordPress geeks, um, and I asked them, you know, what did you, what is your favorite calendar plugin or booking plugin? And they really don't have one. They're not really, they're, they're hard to make. I think every use case is different. Mm -hmm. Everyone might have a, a subjective way that they can book time. What yes. should be booked? Is it personal time? Is yes. it physical time? What is it? Mm -hmm. Um, so uh, it's a very difficult um, plugin to do really well at. So our criteria for selecting plugins were, was or is how many downloads are they getting? Mm -hmm. Decent amount, like this one, 52,000. And when were they last updated? Yes. So it's not really like we're looking at um, the most longstanding, most popular thing. Yeah. Because it might have more plugins and just hasn't been updated. I'm looking for something that is being relatively updated, which means I know that the author has been working on it. They care, yeah. And they care. Um, and does it have a, a, at least yes. a, a good amount of downloads installed? So, enter bookings. Enter bookings. Uh, so, for me, um, I think that when we when you just talked about application of booking plugins, I think that this is really where this product excels. Mm -hmm. uh, in that, it seems to me from playing around with it, and we'll have video to show um, overlaid, um, that this is one of those plugins that really has it all as far as what it's trying to do. Mm -hmm. They give you so many options to add booking. Well, regardless of what you're doing, if you're booking day-long appointment things or hotel night stays or really quick sessions or, you know, if, you know, we talked about psychiatry last time or mm -hmm. if you're a psychiatrist, like having, you know, shorter sessions, you can do it all with this plugin. Mm -hmm. That being said, um, it's modeled as a freemium plugin, meaning it's free in the repository, but then it's a paid cost to get a lot of extra features. And I find, and we can talk about this now if you'd like, that it, this really is more of a demo product as a free product. It is very, very limiting uh, to a business. Um, and the reason for that, in my opinion, is the amount of bookings you can have. So with the standard model, you get 25 bookings a month. Personally, if I'm a business, for, most, for the most part, I'm probably going to do more than 25 bookings a month. So right there, before we even get into feature set, you sort of have to go pro or expert, in my opinion. Then there are other features. Pros, like, 100 bucks a year or, yeah. or oh, 10 yeah. bucks a month. So let's talk about pricing a little bit. So pros, 99.95 a year or 9.95 a month. Right. And then the expert version is 199, 199.95 a year or 19.95 a month. Mm -hmm. The difference there, the main difference, there are other little feature differences that we'll have on an image for you. But um, in limited schedule and bookings for the expert one, 
Pro gives you 150 bookings versus 25 and three schedules versus one. Uh, schedule being like sort of a more high high concept, you know, booking a room we were when we were playing around with it. Yeah. So I don't mind the paid. Mm-hmm. I don't mind the free plugin and then the and then the premium features you get for paying for a plugin. Neither do I. Um, I think that the way they've broken this up, yes, is a little sketchy. Yeah. So let's take a look at one of the most popular um, form plugins that that we normally talk yeah. about is Gravity Forms, yes. right? We still have to go back and review. It's been a while. Yeah. But anyway, they probably are the most high priced yearly uh, plugin. Yes. You know, in mm-hmm. in popularity. Right. So it's, I think they're also two hundred bucks, maybe two hundred and twenty mm-hmm. bucks, something like that. Right. But it, they don't. Even if you were to buy the pro version which is less it's not like the pro version says well you can only submit a thousand forms a month right you're buying a certain set of features yes that's not limiting you to the amount of forms exactly. even even their most basic level exactly. doesn't limit to you so i don't really like that that mm-hmm. to me is a little sketch that's a little mm-hmm. black market i can understand right. like you can have right. three schedules versus one okay that makes sense you know maybe you got three different properties whatever but i just don't like how they limit you to that yeah on the flip side if I were this author, I would say, well, if you're renting a house in some vacation spot and you're getting a thousand bucks a week, yeah, and that's 150 bookings, you have 150 bookings a month, I'm, or you have 150 bookings total. I mean, you can only book for a well, month, no, right? I, it's there's so there's 25 bookings a month with the normal version, with yep. the free version, 150 with the pro version, right? But even the 150, the point is, yeah, yeah. for 100 bucks, if you're doing a thousand dollars a yeah, week, yeah, right, right, right. 100 bucks is nothing. So why not yeah. just pay for no, it? No, no, I, I, and I, and I, and that's not what I'm what I'm going at, getting at here. Yep. I, I personally think that for, and we'll talk about sort of how it works. I think that there's a lot of value in this plugin for yeah. sure. I just wish that it was just modeled as a paid plugin somehow, as opposed to or modeled as a demonstration with a paid aspect to it yeah i mean versus the way they kind of it's the freemium model it's it's not anything that is so unique i mean a lot of folks are doing this i just don't like the way he structures yeah, it yeah, yeah. and one thing that we should make really clear which also doesn't make sense to me which and by looking at the one star reviews this is a lot of a lot of folks are saying this is i don't understand why we're tracking data yes yeah so we should make that too, we should make yes. that very clear it's you know you have a warning at the bottom of this or or a, a notice that says mm-hmm. we are tracking data and then there's a whole privacy policy thing and you have to accept these terms. What data do you really need to track? Um, right. I don't even know how that got through the plugin approval process. I don't yeah. think that you can install a plugin and have people have to say yes to that in order to enable the plugin. Right. I think if you look at a, a, another popular plugin, Yoast, that has 4 million downloads, he asks if he can track the data yes. for bug reporting purposes and yes. probably just to see how people are using it and right. see how many installs, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, no, and I, I'm I assuming they're using it for marketing, but it's just so you have to do this. Right, that doesn't and, make sense to me. And I think that if they get one stars for, for that, that's fine, you know, and they should be asking. They should be asking for your permission. I think it's going to limit some of their downloads because they're going to be, and it's yeah. and it's in red and it says before you install, so they do make it obvious to you right. where they show up, but they do tell you personal data is collected and stored on our servers. Uh, so they're they're collecting data and they delect, they collect it for. Uh, I wonder if this is from yeah. the NSA. Yeah, maybe, right, yeah. Um, but that is that was a little sketchy. So enter at, enter at your own risk of there. Sure. All that being said, because it's, this 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 episode so far has taken a very negative turn. Yeah. Um, the plugin itself, when it's working, when you're able to use everything, is wonderful. Yeah. It works really well. Uh, Adding all the stuff, I, I will say it, it definitely seems like if you're not, if you are a small business and you're just using this as a, a means to an end, like I don't really know WordPress that well. Somebody designed one for me and I'm installing this plugin on my site. I think it's a little bit too um, high concept is the way, it, or not high concept, not the, not the word, but compl- complex. It's very techy. It's very, and it's very techy. If you look, there's not, there's not a really smooth yeah. process. I liked it. I liked all the features because I right. know how to get around. <clears throat> I know how to get around the back end of WordPress. Right. Uh, but even I was like looking for the short codes, like not yeah. even a reference page in there for the yeah. short codes. It's in the manual. You have to look for them. There's a manual to download. They, they're definitely pushing the $99 one-time install fee yeah. that they have for it. Yeah. That's for sure. I mean, when you first download the plugin, it starts with this setting where it's just like API key, secret password, license <laughs> keys. And if you're somebody who's not used to this kind of thing, you just, your jaw is just. Yeah. So the whole process isn't very intuitive. Um, it's not very clean and sexy like we like to see out of some of the you know leading plugins. Mm-hmm. 
but the features are really nice yeah. and I love the fact that you could actually book to an hour yeah. um, especially for consultants out there yes. so that's why I think the free plugin is still worthy um, because if you're booking for a hundred bucks an hour and you can use this plugin yeah. why not spend the hundred bucks for the right. year um, but it's just not very cool and and Apple like right it's, yeah, not very, right it's not very sleek but so what it gets the job done so uh, we were um, able to within within a minute within a couple minutes like create a create a scheduled time for something and you know we we tested some bookings and it worked out wonderfully mm, and it, yeah you can modify it I mean it's just really great yeah so you know I, I would give this the thumbs up to use it oh I certainly would too and yeah. I, I actually preferred it over a booking calendar mm -hmm. I, I would like to note that as well I think yeah but again I, I think it's because again you and I could intuitively move through this and we kind of like like knowing what certain short codes yeah. I kind of instinctively guessed on what some of the short yeah. codes were if you do plan on installing this get the user manual probably print it out I mean it's, I haven't yeah, said print a, it out in a, some time yeah. but <laughs> I would a, actually need the user manual you know at the same time to kind of like as I'm building something from Ikea. Like I need to see yeah. where I'm at. And it, and it is nice that they do provide you a free user manual yeah. to download and print. Yeah. Uh, you know, some plugins don't even yeah. have that. Yeah. Well, most which don't. Which is a shame. And, and it's great. And it's kind of your support for, for to a large degree. So look, kind of clunky. There's a paid version. So it's kind of limited, but it might get the job done for you, especially if you're a very small business needing to, you know, book something. Um, don't expect, you know, super sleek, Beautiful stuff, but it gets a job done Absolutely. and it gets everything in line like you expect it to. Absolutely. Um, third party data. Eh. Eh. I know it's marketing stuff, but I should be able to opt out of that. And yes. We should really contact the author to find out yeah. why. Sure. Liked it, loved it, hated it. <laughs> Let us know in the comments. Uh, hit subscribe. Uh, we want to hit 10,000 subscribers in YouTube. We're going to be opening up a uh, user form pretty soon on the yes. site. So, and we can take the conversation off YouTube, yep. bring it to our site, yep. help you better. We get tons of emails asking for different things and to, mm -hmm. to see different things. So we're hoping that yeah. some of you folks can kind of talk to each other and help each other out. Yeah, lots of comments on all of our different YouTube uh, YouTube videos where it would just be nice if we had a nice little community where we could do that. So yeah. it's about time. Yeah. So check us out, slogumstudio.com slash subscribe. Thanks, everybody. Thanks, guys. Thanks.